Hello everyone, the structure here. And in this video, I'm going to be showcasing all of the brand new cosmetics that were introduced with the Expedition Omega, or actually called Star Seed. So, I mean, the first thing that you could see right off the bat is the helmet. And this is my new main helmet. So, yeah, I actually really love these cosmetics. So, this is what it looks like. And it's super clean, super nice. You get all these nice little details. And this is called the Atlas Head Shield. It's super cool. And honestly, I really like it. Now, yes, again, it is just a cosmetic, but it looks fan fantastic then we also have on the back the atlas shield or i mean i don't really know what it's called but it's an exosuit appearance so it changes your backpack or your jetpack whatever you want to call it it's got like these nice little runes inside of it and it's just made of so much like so many different pieces of metal and of course you can choose the color as well so i have it set to red of course but you can choose it to yellow orange green purple and of course same thing for the helmet you could do the same thing there as well now the thing that i really like about this is the exhausts are very uniquely shaped so they're kind of like a almost like a triangular but they have instead of a sharp end they have a flat end and it creates this very nice looking effect when you use your jetpack trails. And as far as I'm concerned, these little things on the side don't necessarily move that much. And there's even more stuff like little light blue emissive accents and stuff like that. But the scanner here, the scanner here is super cool. It's like a mini little atlas. If you've played the storyline, then you would know that this is the shielded atlas and it looks super cool. And this is acting like your scanner it kind of just floats there though i think the animation on this could improve because it's pretty much the exact same as the other ones but it's super cool and i like it so let's go ahead and check this out and that's what it pretty much looks like i changed my jetpack trail because there is something behind me that i just cannot wait to show but as you can see it looks great and I really do like it. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys is the brand new staff that you also get from the expedition. So you have the, your own staff and then you have your Atlas multi-tool, but the Atlas Scepter, this is a brand new staff that you earn from the expedition. And it is so, so cool. It's super detailed as well. Like look how good this looks and it matches the overall helmet and your jetpack it is so cool it is very high detailed as well just like the rest of the stuff and like i mean who wouldn't want this like it looks great now of course you can't change the color of this but it's still very cool there's not really much else to the staff the staff is pretty much just like a regular multi-tool there's nothing special about them except that they look really cool but yeah i hope that this eventually get some proper use now for the biggest thing here and i cannot wait to turn around and actually show you guys but this is the star born runner and this thing is ultra gorgeous this thing is equipped with full-blown parallax textures meaning that it's fully 3d and everything and it looks so beautiful it's got this nice fusion like if you've seen the jetpack trail that i'm using it's the exact same trail which is the fusion trail and it looks so fantastic this is definitely the best ship in my opinion that we've ever seen in no man's sky just considering the amount of detail like there is a full blown look to it and it, its class is exotic so it's not a fighter as some people may have said it's an exotic but it's in the form of a fighter which is super cool and you can see that the engine is very very unique and it's shaped like i don't even know like it just looks very high tech you got all these different types of pipes here that lead to the side thrusters which again are super high tech because it's not even like a thruster it's like straight up electricity it's super cool and i love the sides it's so sleek so clean and it looks absolutely fantastic it's got all these different decals 
And again, like I said, this is all parallax, meaning that all the textures, or I guess most of the textures on this are three dimensional. They are fully 3D. This whole ship is completed with decals everywhere. So now you can get a good look on the decals on here, on here, on here, you know, pretty much everything. This is also the same decal that is shown on the Nexus, which again, we all thought that this would have some correlation with the Nexus, but it doesn't. The anomaly has nothing to do with this ship, which is kind of weird, but it's still got these decals. So kind of strange. Now, the weird thing is that there is a little geck here with the racing flag. Now, this is pretty much showing that this is most likely going to be a racing ship. And there are files that were leaked that are related to this Starborn Runner as a racing ship. So it is kind of weird. And by the way, there are also some more like files and parts related to the back here where you could like swap the thrusters and add like a different look to it. But again, they're not enabled, nor can we actually view them. So most likely we'll be able to see those within the upcoming update with the stations. But yeah, it just looks super clean. It's so awesome. And I'm going to I'm going to show you guys the sounds and everything. I'm also going to show you the inside of the cockpit, which I have my thoughts on that. So you will see it eventually in just a bit. This whole thing is awesome. This whole ship is super cool. Equipped with parallax textures and everything, as well as an iridescent visor. It is super cool. I think the colors actually sort of change, but I could be wrong about that. And of course, there are lens flares down here with the effect it is just so awesome so real quick i just came to this place because i wanted to show you guys that you can ch fully change the color of the lights to anything that you want it looks super awesome and i think a lot of people are going to enjoy this helmet in particular because you can do a lot with it like i mean a lot there are so many different things that you can do with this helmet in particular and of course, you could do the same thing with the backpack. So you could have this as green, turquoise, blue, purple, pink. Pink looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. Of course, white and black, which is kind of like a slight emissive glow, but not any bloom. But I personally like this dark red. It gives off a nice little vibe. And if you also want to see the Omega Expedition banner, this is what it looks like. And of course, if you're interested in the decals and the art, this is what the decal looks like. And here's what the art looks like. So yeah, pretty cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the rest of the ship. I'm going to show you what the sounds are and I'm going to be quiet for that. And I'm going to show you the animations for taking off, landing, and then of course showing you the cockpit, which again, I have thoughts on. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So let's go ahead and get in the ship. Here's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like and it sounds super cool as you can clearly hear there is a lot of changes so this ship in particular makes a lot of sound but it's such cool sound it really is it is such a cool like sound system that they've put in for this ship in particular it's so awesome here's what it sounds like when you go ahead and pulse It's so cool. It is so awesome. And by default, the contrail that they install on the ship is the stealth contrail, which in my opinion is actually the best one because all of the other ones look very strange. We're going to go ahead and just fly down here. We're going to land on a nice little island like this one and just listen to the sound. So clean it is so clean and the way it just like hovers there that is so awesome it really is and again I think it's kind of weird how they call this stuff starborn in my opinion I think the update is gonna be called starborn 
or something related to that. Because Starborn is also a thing in Starfield, which is a bit weird, but obviously they're not connected because it's completely different developers and games. I just thought that was a weird little reference. It might just be their own thing. Without further ado, let me show you the inside of the cockpit. So the cockpit is this. And honestly, this is why I was actually going to say I have my thoughts on this because when you look at it from the inside, it looks like this. This is the exact same as the Utopia speeder. So if I get out of it, you can see that the outside doesn't necessarily match. It may not be like completely perfect, but it doesn't match at all. Also, here's what it sounds like when you go in and out. Super awesome. But yeah, so that's what I have to say about the interior. I do think it is a work in progress. I don't think it's finished, just like the rest of this is not finished. So just take some of this stuff with a grain of salt. This may not be the final product, but it may also be. So you can decide whether it is or whether it's not. That's pretty much what I wanted to show. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoy the content and you're excited for the official release of Expedition 12 and the content update regarding the space stations, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell to protect and serve.